Hello, in this video we're going to look at how we can use matrices to describe reflections. So there are four we're going to look at and I'll timestamp each of them below so you can skip through to whichever one you want to see. And if this video is useful then please do like and subscribe. Okay, so let's look at this first example where we're asked to find the matrix representing a reflection in the x-axis. So remember, we can find any given transformation matrix by seeing what happens to our i and j unit vectors under the transformation. So that's the point 1, 0 and the point 0, 1. So we're having a reflection in the x-axis. So the point 1, 0 is going to remain fixed. And so the first column of my transformation matrix is just 1, 0. The point 0, 1 is going to be reflected down here to the point 0, negative 1. And so the second column of my transformation matrix is going to be 0, negative 1. And so we could describe a reflection in the x-axis by the following matrix, this one here. Let's look at another example. So here we're asked to find the matrix representing a reflection, this time in the y-axis. So again, let's see what happens to our i and our j unit vectors under the transformation. So we're reflecting in the y-axis. So the point 1, 0, well, that's going to be reflected over here to the point negative 1, 0. So that's the first column of my transformation matrix. And the point 0, 1 is going to remain fixed. And so the second column of my transformation matrix is just going to be 0 and 1. And so this matrix here represents a reflection in the y-axis. Let's take a look at this next example. So here we need to find uh, a matrix representing a reflection in the line y equals x. So again, let's mark on our i and j unit vectors, like so. And we're reflecting in the line y equals x. So let me draw that on like so. Okay, so the point 1, 0, well, that's going to be reflected up here to the point 0, 1. Okay, so it's now going to become 0, 1. So the first column of my transformation matrix is 0, 1. And the point 0, 1, my j unit vector, is going to be reflected down here to the point 1, 0. And so the second column of my transformation matrix is going to be 1, 0. And so a reflection in the y-axis, uh, sorry, in the line y equals x can be represented by this matrix here. And finally, we need to look, find the matrix representing a reflection in the line y equals negative x. So mark on our points 1, 0 and 0, 1. Let's then mark on the transformation line, which is y equals negative x. So under this transformation, the point 1, 0 is going to be mapped down here to uh, the point 0, negative 1. So that's the first column of my transformation matrix. And the point 0, 1 is going to be mapped over here to the point uh, negative 1, 0. And so the second column of my transformation matrix is negative 1, 0. And so this matrix represents a reflection in the line y equals negative x. So hopefully this video was useful. If it was, please do like and subscribe and go over to my channel where I've got loads of other A-level maths tutorials. Thanks for watching.